Great. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Ryan Hippensteel. I work for NOAA uh, National Geodetic Survey in the U.S. Um, I'm our field operations branch chief, and I'm the, the chair of the joint working group for uh, site surveys and, and uh, co-location. Um, so just kind of a update on, on our group. Oh, sorry. An update on our group. Um, I like to put this screen on every presentation I give uh, so that the audience can look at it. They can uh, make suggestions. They can offer to colleagues uh, to join us. Um, we're a working group. Um, just about everybody here, you know, has I'm, I'm sorry. This other. Uh, we cannot uh, see the screen. We, we, we can only see the, you know, wasn't in the PowerPoint mode, but not the uh, presentation mode. Okay. Maybe, maybe you have to share the, uh, yes, now we can see it. You can see full screen? We can see now the screen uh, from the PowerPoint mode with the membership. Is it full screen? No. But but it's it's okay. So if, if you go further to the next slides uh, in the PowerPoint mode, not in the presentation mode. Okay, as long as it's uh, viewable for you. Yeah. Sorry, I'm working on one screen. I'm on travel, so yeah. um, I can't see both at the same time. Um, so if you have suggestions on colleagues that should be in this group, um, let us know. So it's a fairly uh, active group with uh, day jobs and other tasks, and uh, these folks come together to share data, complete field surveys, et cetera. So our, our, our driving goal is to get as many tie surveys done as possible, coordinate when we can, and then try to drive, drive research. Um, notable here is uh, Dr. Craig Harrison from Geosciences Australia just joined us. Um, they've got shifting roles on their side, so we're happy to have new members uh, come aboard. Um, so this is a membership list and, and hopefully the, the results um, over the last couple of years, another slide that I share pretty often, um, the, the vectors measured have, have gone up and um, the, the vectors with less than a five millimeter discrepancy uh, have gone up too. So you can see that uh, just in the last few years, it's been quite active. We've listed a number of surveys there uh, that have been completed. Um, so we're really happy to have field work ongoing and happy to have a, a pretty uh, robust list. Um, just this year, uh, a couple things that I would highlight, again, just kind of looking at things that have been completed recently. Uh, we had a crew on, on our side uh, with NGS to go to Coke Park. Uh, this was in May of this year. The results of this survey are still pending. A full report will be, will be forthcoming when, when they're done writing it up. Um, but Coke is unique. Uh, it's, it's actually a campus where um, the, it's quite spread out. Uh, there's there's over a thousand meters between the Doris and and um, other techniques, so it actually requires a, a traverse um, uh, over that area and trying to traverse that distance and keep your error bars down is is quite difficult. Um, the other thing that we're pushing uh, ahead on that we've we briefed at, at this meeting and and other uh, meetings as well is the development of. Uh, deflection of the vertical observations and astrogeodetic azimuth observations, and we're utilizing those uh, through systems created uh, with a normal robotic instrument, a robotic total station that we would take to these sites. Um, so the astrogeodetic azimuths um, are, are kind of complementing our, our GNSS surveys for alignment, um, but you know, hopefully we get to the point where we're writing up protocols uh, that those can be used um, either uh, either as a substitute if needed, um, or if site conditions kind of dictate that we can't use GNSS. Uh, some of these sites are are quite closed and um, maybe not ideal for for all this uh, GNSS control. And then from our colleagues in in Japan, um, they've recently completed uh, a survey. They've also shared their results at IUGG. Um, and then they've got another survey coming up in, in October. Um, so again, this is actually a, a member that we've, we've brought on and accepted uh, quite recently over the last year or so. Um, it was just kind of a, a blind spot in our membership list uh, under the previous group. 
Um, so again, building that membership out, being able to uh, have uh, folks kind of report on their work and, and publish their work has been has been really nice. Um, we've also got um, recent reprocessing at Stromlo and, and Yargadi. Um, they've got a report, a uh, survey report, hopefully forthcoming as well on some of the field work that they've done. Um, the other uh, topic that has been uh, quite uh, popular and, and hot over the last couple of years is antenna deformation. Uh, so what we're trying to do is engage uh, within the working group folks that have studied that separately. Uh, we're trying to do some data sharing amongst those members and do some further analysis and see if we can push that conversation along. And then, as mentioned, um, more work on deflection of the vertical and astrogeodetic azimuth observations. Um, a lot of that uh, research that, that we've done within NGS and some of the building of the uh, piece of, of equipment we call TSACs, um, that's forthcoming as well. Uh, so we hope as we continue to perfect those uh, observation schemes and protocols, we can get that research and uh, out to publication for others to use. We've already had success with that system where uh, we shared kind of how uh, we build it uh, with our colleagues at Frankfurt, and they were able to duplicate uh, uh, one of the units on their side as well. Um, so um, certainly appreciate the time to, to give updates on, on recent activities. Uh, hopefully this group continues to be as active as it has been. We're really excited. Uh, again, I'll mention if you have colleagues um, that should be involved in, in this working group, please reach out to me, please contact us, and we'll get them in. Uh, membership is not difficult. Uh, anybody completing field surveys and doing good field work uh, is uh, is welcome for us. So appreciate the time and thank you and apologize for the technical difficulties. <laughs>